Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video, let's just go ahead and discuss the biggest reason which I have figured out eventually after so many years of learning programming and learning to code and even seeing how other people learn and the biggest reason why people are not able to learn programming or why they give up so easily and why others don't that applies equally well. So if you have this quality with you, then you're good. If not, then at some point, the probability is very high that you would eventually give up. So the biggest reason is why people give up and why people are not able to learn programming is the why. Why are you even learning programming in the first place? You have to figure that out. There could be a lot of valid whys. You might want to get an internship, you might want to get a job, you might to put it on your resume, your CV, whatever you want, want to start freelancing, whatever it is. But you have to be crystal clear about what your why is. Why are you even starting to program? Some of the valid reasons I told you, some of the invalid reasons or reasons which will eventually lead you to giving up are because your friends are learning, are because you have to do because it's in curriculum. Well, that's something you have to do anyway, but that's not a valid reason. So there are valid reasons there are invalid reasons and then there's one best reason what your why should be ideally i mean it won't be for everyone but what it should be ideally and that is your why should be fun you are having fun when you're trying to code when you're learning to program computers when you're learning systems and how operating systems work and how a computer works and how you can program a computer even linus has said that most good programmers program because they have fun not because they want to just get paid or just get public support or whatever because most good programmers are programming they're having fun while doing it and there's a very good reason why this is a great reason to have as a why because just like anything else Programming also has its high and low days and it is extremely difficult to navigate through no low days if you are not having fun with something. If you have the opportunity to give up, give something up, you would immediately do that if you have you know, something on your side, whether it's maybe your side income, whether it's something which is your job, some other job which pays your bills and you're just programming for the sake of it, then it's far more easier to just give it up. That is why if you're having really having fun programming computers, it's much harder to lose in the long run because you're just doing it for the fun, right? You're just that work is play for you. Again, something which Naval also says that the best way to get ahead of people is to look for things which are play to you but look like work to others and like he says programming is one of those things which looks like extreme work to others but if you are the rare ones where it feels like fun and play to you then you're off to charts but if you do not have fun if you're still doing it just for your job just for your internship that is completely fine that in no way means that you won't be able to succeed as a programmer but nonetheless you need to tie your programming journey to some sort of end goal both in short term and long term if you have fun then you don't need to but if you do not then you have to tie it with a short term goal whether it's a two month, three month, six month goal and a relatively longer term as well that you want to become a great software developer or a senior software developer or you want to launch your own company one day or your own startup, you want to be a CTO of a company, anything that could be pretty much anything. But yeah, you have to tie these goals because if you do not, it's very easy to give up something like programming, which is hard, which is inherently hard. I mean, people who say programming is easy, that is true till some extent, but it's hard not in terms of understanding but in terms of persistence because you would have to stick with it for a long time and sticking with something like programming for a long time might not be the first choice which a lot of people make just because there are easier options available but it's rewarding nonetheless so if you want to take away anything from this video that should be to figure out what your why is do you want to start freelancing in three months do you want to get your first client in two months do you want to build your own personal project or personal portfolio in one month what is that goal tie your learnings tie your journey to that goal and work towards that whether it's getting a job whether it's freelancing whether it's building something whether it's only fun just make good use of your time along the way i hope this video would help some people if it did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and as a matter of fact if you are starting with 
your full stack web development journey or programming journey in general as well, I believe web development is a good field to start with. You can start with Codedam's full stack web developer learning path, which is a structured, organized and practical way of learning today's awesome web technologies with hands-on interactivity and projects along the way. So that is all for this video. All the best to everyone who has been struggling. This is part of the phase. And once you figure out your why, it won't make things easier, but it will still give you enough motivation to go through the hard times. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video really soon.